Wait, what about red? Anybody get the redness? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's the worst. And then when you feel, feel yourself getting red, it makes you get redder. Yeah. <laughs> and the only thing you can focus on is how red you are and how hot you are. And then you're sweating. Sometimes you get the shakes. Sometimes you get the little sewing machine shakes. Uh, the, the shakes in the voice. Or they might hold a piece of paper and a piece of paper's doing this. Um, so it kind of ha- it doesn't need a lot of credibility in like this. And then your arms are going everywhere and you're hiding and your power points. So just the whole thing just starts to snowball down. It doesn't have to be this big over-the-top thing. And the other thing is you've got to allow yourself to be yourself. Yeah. Don't ever become a presenter that goes, I've got to be Tony Robbins because you don't have to be. And if you're a, I don't know, even a quieter person or, or you know, come across as confident, that's fine. What I would say, though, don't use the excuse, oh, I'm just a quieter person, I just talk quietly. That's fine, but it's not about you. You need to talk a little louder so your audience can hear you. It's not changing your personality. I've seen the most quietest people in the world put in a certain situation, they can get pretty loud. <laughs> so think of the situations where you can access those tools you need to access. Absolutely. Uh, other things, know the room. Yeah. Jokes. Jokes? Yeah, making jokes. Yeah, if you to them. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, what? what uh, just, yeah, just to. Uh, Make it more comfortable the environment that you can, yeah, be a little bit more comfortable. Yeah, you can open with something a little humorous, a little, yeah. little light. Just humor, I mean, yeah. We talk about this opening, and some people say, oh, "I could tell a joke." I say, "Okay, you can if you're good at it. <laughs> 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 if you can read your audience, and you're not going to upset somebody right from the start, absolutely." But I think using humor in a presentation, particularly if that's part of your personality, is great. I've seen fun people, humorous people, get up there and present the most rigid and stiff presentation you've ever seen. You go, where did your personality go? Because that's what's going to sell to these people out there, not, not the information and the data. So again, not dismissing the information and the data that you're working with, but you've got to bring your personality in there. And you've got to bring some kind of attachment. Yeah.